The East Carolina Pirates started the year off 1-0 with a 28-17 victory over the Duke Blue Devils. Aiden Duncanson had a big pick six at the end of the game, but how will they respond with a road trip to Old Dominion in week two? Well, let's find out. East Carolina enters the game with a higher overall, but we'll see how we do today. We won last week, and we're underway. Here we are at Old Dominion, taking the kick back, and we're going to get out to the 18-yard line. There's Randy Jefferson, 1-0 on the year. Jake Garcia threw two picks last week, but it proved not to bite them in the end. The defense played really well in the second half. ECU ran for 168 yards as a team. We're going to be looking to do the same today. Right now we have JV and Harris in the backfield. He had 12 carries last week. We're looking to get him going early. There's a good play. There's a gain of seven to start. That's Rajay Harris. I'm sorry. It's JV and Bond, Rajay Harris. Second and three. Here we go. Jake Looking for Chase Sow and incomplete. Big third and three. We do not want to go three and out. Here goes JV and Bond. Little inside zone. We're going to pick up the first and then some good run. JV and we are out to the 34-yard line. There's a good play. There's a good play to Chase Sow. There's a good play. Still going and he is out to the Old Dominion 46. Now, Chase Sow did not have a reception in week one. But he is a six foot four, 200 200-pound receiver. Uh, he is around 90 speed. He's a pretty good player. We're going to look to utilize him more in week two than we did in week one. JVM Bond in the backfield. ECU, really, really good start today. There goes JVM Bond up the middle for a gain of six. Big thing today is we cannot have turnovers. There goes, there goes Jake Garcia for a first down. We cannot turn the ball over at the rate we did last week. And if we play turnover-free football, I really, really like our chances. Quick out to Chase Sal. Sal looking to make a man miss, and he kick, he gets seven. We're at third and two. Really looking to implement Chase Sal today. He's going to be our number one receiver. Uh, it was a little tough tough sledding last week against Duke, but when we we know we're not going to be playing an AC school every week. So if we can uh, if we can you know play the American schools, oh we have fourth and one. We're going to go for it. We're sending them out. We're we're, we're going for it. We're not, we're not kicking a field goal. We are here to win this game. We play 10-minute quarters with 19-second uh, clock runoff, so half the quarter so far on this drive. Really good start for East Carolina. Going for it all and caught. There we go. We're inside the 5, or inside the 10, rather. There we go. First and goal. I was a little nervous on that throw, I'm not going to lie. Really good start for the Pirates after a big win last week over Duke. And there goes JV and Bond. Can he get into the end zone? He cannot. We have a little play action read here. What I would like to do is see if this hole comes open and we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Let's go. What a start. What a start. Let's go. Good play, Jake. Talk your, talk your, yeah, tell him. What's up? What's up, Jake? Tell him. 12 play, 82 yard drive for the Pirates. That is the exact start you want. We have a big, big game next week against App State. We're looking to head into that game 2-0 and and we are looking to smoke Old Dominion today. There's Randy Jefferson looking to start his career out 2-0. We are looking to absolutely smoke Old Dominion. First play from scrimmage. Oh, we missed a tackle. We missed a tackle. That's all right. That's all right. We got him. Gain of three. Bold strategy to run hurry up when we just had a 12-play drive. You need to let the defense get some rest. Oh, man, we are right there. We're right there. We're right there. Make the tackle. We're right there. This is a good start for us. This is, a, again, a really, really bold strategy by Old Dominion to run hurry up because if we get off the field here we're going to protect the sticks if we get off the field here this is a terrible start this is a terrible start for them oh screen screen incomplete pass we're off the field guys a old dominion punt gives us the ball at the 39 and we might go for it all on the first play we got it we got it we got a man we got a man that might be underthrown good play by the db really good play second and 10 looking to find a hole found a hole good oh good Good way to trip him up. If we can get this first down here, this would be huge. Third and six for the Pirates. Jake Garcia under pressure. Finding a man that might be lofted too high. And it's a great play by the DB. I tell you, Old Dominion has some really feisty DBs. And we're going to have to punt the football away here. See if we can pin him inside the 20-yard line. Here we go. See if we can get him inside the 20. He's going to return, so that's there's no chance of that. See if we can strip. I like, go for the ball! There it is! I think they got it. They got it. That's all right. Great strip attempt, but we're back on defense. We're right there. We're right there. Come on, guys. Let's go. Second and 13 for Old Dominion. Can we? Geez, these offensive linemen for Old Dominion are bad. And we even we bumped the sliders way up. So we'll I'll, we'll we'll go over that at the end. Uh, we'll go over like the sliders that we're playing on All American. I'm gonna bump them up even more. But these, I mean, these offensive linemen are horrible. Oh my goodness, they are so bad. 
right there. We're off the field. I, I We might pitch a shutout today. I'm dead serious. We genuinely may pitch a shutout. Old Dominion, two, three and outs. I really think if we just run the ball today, we're going to, we're going to run the ball a lot this next drive. Don't, oh, whew, that was a little, way too nervous for that. We're going to try and run the ball. If we just run the ball and play solid defense, I, I mean, the, the opposing, oh man, good play. Really good play up front. Denzel Lowry with the tackle. Now, unfortunately, we can't really, uh, well, you probably wouldn't want to pass the ball or run the ball on, uh, man, we have nowhere to, that, that's a bad decision. That's a really bad decision. Shoo. Should have threw that one away. Third and 13. Not a lot in the playbook here, to be honest, but we're just looking. Jake Garcia, there's a blitz. Can we get out of it? We cannot sack and we're going to be off the field. Denzel Lowry is wrecking the game. So set up East, or this will set up Old Dominion with a nice field possession. 42 yard line to start the second quarter. Pass thrown away on first down. Let's see what they have on second down. Here we go. And oh, he's completion. First down, and they're in our territory. Good play. Again, the, the constant no huddle is really, really bold because we are going to... Oh, nope, missed the angle, missed the angle. We're going for the strip. We're going for the strip almost every time. I, I really think with how we rally to the football, I really think that we can cause two or three fumbles in this game. Here we go. First down for Old Dominion. A little play action. We're going for the SWAT. Don't get it. And they get down to the 18. A little keeper action. Here we go. Down to the 13, second and five. Still no huddle. Here we go. Trying to protect the end zone here. We're fine with three. I really don't think they can score on us. That could really bite me in the rear end here in a second, but I really don't think they can score on us. They're going to keep it again. Keep, keep, keep. Right there, right there. We're right, we're right there. We're right there. Good play, guys. Third and four. They want to keep doing They want to keep doing the, the no huddle. Let them. I feel like that hurts them more than anything. I mean, our defensive line, here we go, we're right there, oh man, oh man, we're right there, we're, let's go, we're off the field, good stuff, fellas, that's what I'm talking about. The CPU constantly running no huddle does not make sense to me, from just from a, a coaching standpoint, as we see at the bottom, Appalachian State actually lost to Clemson, so they'll be entering the Pirates' ship next week, off a loss, as Old Dominion makes it a 7-3 game. Let's try this run the ball strategy again. Let's let's give this another shot. We it didn't go well last time. Started off with Denzel Lowry making a big play. Here we go. This this is what we were hoping for. This let's hit a spin move. Good play. Works. We're still going. We're still going. Good play. That that's a gain of twenty eight to start the drive. Roger Harris gets the ball again. Can he bull a man? He cannot. Gain of two. Would love to hit Sal on on the deep cross here. He's a he's a oh man oh man. We're just throwing. We're throwing. We're going for the aggressive with the tight end and incomplete. Third and eight. We could really do some damage here there we go we got him we got him we got him good play jake garcia good play still going still going and down to the 33 one yard run on first down we have a little screen action can rajay get out he cannot now we have third and nine. Third and nine we converted a third down earlier and we're probably no we did convert it let's go good play rajay first and ten ball in the old dominion red zone now see if we can we run up the middle jake garcia looking for a second rushing touchdown we're just gonna take a take a gain of 13 and we're inside the 10 Back to the recruiting, and this is that we talked about a little bit at the end of the last video, or during the last video, we'll talk more in this video. Plays like that are why I, I really want like a scrambler, a guy that has like 89, 90 speed. Uh, Jake is around 77 speed, but we'll get there. Here's second and goal on the seven, and, and we're going to walk right in. Let's No, we're not going to walk right in, but we still got in. Let's go. Tell him. Flex on him. 10 play, nearly four minute drive, and ECU is up 14 to three midway through the second quarter. They're gonna run it out here. Can we create another forced fumble? We cannot, but they'll take the ball at the 14. We're gonna call a couple blitzes. I'm, I'm not a big blitz guy. I think there's far too much risk, but but I, I don't try, there's why. There's actually why right there. I, I That's why I don't like calling blitzes. Gain of 36. I was getting ready to say how much I don't trust Old Dominion's offensive line, and the blitz didn't work and they pick up 36 yards here we go there's a gain of four there's a big play there's a big play there's a really big play he might be gone he's gone four plays for old dominion to get back maybe even three might have been three randy jefferson and the pirates were humbled on that drive a three play 86 yard drive but they get the ball back and, and and positively positively the pirates are oh we got to play right open can he get it can he get it can he get it off his hands 
Credit where it's due. Jake put the ball where he needed to. He was wide open, but the Pirates are going to look to hopefully hopefully have the, the final drive of the half. We'll see how that works out. Second and ten goes to third and six. Big third down here. Would really not... Or would really prefer not to give them the ball back after they scored. And we're going to see if we can hit underneath. We can first down Pirates. Good play, Jake Garcia. Will be the final play before the two-minute warning. If we complete the pass. And there we go. Gain of six. Biggest thing with Jake Garcia today, we need to protect the football. And we're doing a good job of that so far. <laughs> Knock on wood, of course. I'm just going to go ahead and take up. Take, take what the defense gives you right there. We'll take that every time. Run the ball inside the inside the two-minute. We, we want to... Milk the clock, baby. Milk the clock. We will slowly, we'll try and slowly. There we go. We got to play right there. We got to play right there. There we go. We'll try and slowly. Actually, uh, we'll get out of bounds. Really going to try and run the clock down as much as we can so they have no time to uh, to answer, which would be a deal. And we're doing a good job of that so far. Little motion play. Second and three. Minute 13 left. We'll hit him, we'll hit him out of the backfield again. My man, Javius Bond, really doing work today. Inside the 20. Clock, of course, stops as he goes out of bounds. Minute eight left in the half. We're going to try and run a little inside zone. Can he bull through him? He cannot, but I would almost, almost prefer that at this point. We have time on our side. We have three timeouts. Going to let the clock run a little bit and use that to our advantage. Second and 11 for the Pirates. Here we go. We got a man. We got a man. We got a man. Can we get in? Can we get in? We can. And there's a touchdown. We're back up double digits. 11 play, two and a half minute drive for the Pirates, and they will leave Old Dominion with very little time. Now, one thing we always do is we always try and force the fumble on the kick. We always, I'm fine with missing a couple tackles because the cavalry is usually there. After a futile effort to score at the end of the first half, we are now, futile effort by Old Dominion, that is. We are now underway in the second half. Let's go ahead and see if we can knock a ball out here. Let's knock a ball out. No, it's fine. That's fine. They have the ball at the 15, though. We're going to be starting out with a blitz here. We want to we want to start the second half with 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 momentum and we want to, you know, really that's fine. 5 yards we'll give it up every time. We want to really set the tone defensively. And if we can, here we go. We got him right here. We're right here. We're right here. We're not right there. Come on, we're right there. There's a gain of 3. Can we get off the field? We're right there. Oh, we missed the tackle. I missed the tackle and that's a gain of 4 for a first down. There's a big run. There's a big run. There's a really big run. And he breaks a tackle and they are down to the ECU 43. Let's see if we can get off the field here. Let's, let's have, how about a big play? How about a, how about a timely turnover? Oh, there's that right there in the check down. We're right there. Strip, strip. No, it's fine. Third and nine. Big play for the Pirates here to potentially get off the field. And we're right there. We are right there, baby. An Old Dominion touchback has us starting our next drive at the 20-yard line. We'll see what we can do here. My man Rajay Harris picks up four. Rajay's been a really good back for us so far. We're going to definitely continue to get him some work. He's he's done a phenomenal job for us so far, but let's see what we can do here. Oh, we got we got man coverage. Rajay's right there. Come on, catch this. is a big play. This is a really big play. Rajay puts on a move, and he picks up 32 off the quick math. 32 yard gain by Raji Harris on the catch and run. What a play. Javius Bond enters the game and we'll see what Javius can do on a first down. Man, I really like this running back duo. There goes Javius. There goes Javius. Inside the 20, down to the 10 yard line. Eastern Carolina looking really good. Biggest thing Jake Garcia cannot do is turn the football over. Throw it away if you have to. Cannot turn the ball over. Nowhere to go. We're going to throw it away. Ooh, took a big hit, but throw it away. No harm done. We'll try again from, from, from the 10-yard line. Second and goal. Here we go. Here we go. Can we get in? Going for the hurdle down to the one. Little inside run with JV's Bond. Nobody is nobody's over the guard. We should just be able to run right behind him. And 27-10 Pirates. 27-10 Pirates. JV is telling them to hear him. What well, I mean, this is JV and Javius, Javius and Rajay have played really well today. We're up three scores in the second half. What we are going to try and do now, play a lot of cover three, a lot of quarters. I don't know why they're running. That's fine. That's that's their own cup of tea, and they lose two. But what we're going to try and do is is guard over the top. We cannot get beat. We, we, we will take a, a five-minute drive, 15-play, dink and dunk, but we are not going to get beat for the one-play, 80-yard touchdown. Third and inches. Here we go. They're running the ball. They pick up the first and then some. They get out to the 33. This type of drive will take every time. Running a lot of no huddle at this point. 
Um, they're out to the 42. It looks like they're still running. They are still running. And we're still going for the ball, but they get the first down. Just cannot get beat over the top. Three and a half minutes left in the third. Here we go. Our defensive tackle is right there. Missed him. It's a gain of nine. First down run by Old Dominion. They now have the ball in our... Well, they've had the ball in our territory. There's a there's a decent play. There's a decent play as they pick up 10. This is the type of drive we want. Dink and dunk your whole way down the field. We will gladly give this up and let Javius Bond and Raja Harris tear you apart defensively. Call your audibles. Sit there at the line. Do what you want. We're not going to get beat. We are not going to get beat deep. That's fine. Take your two and three yards, your 10 yards, but we're not going to get beat deep. Second and four. Long drive by Old Dominion here. Really long drive. Can we get off the field? Oh, we thought we were going with the keeper. They pick up the first down. And from the 26th, they go to the 14 to pick up 12. Devin Roche, the Old Dominion running back, now over 100 yards on the day. That's a touchdown. Uh, and I completely misplayed that. That's fine. That's we're, we're, That type of drive is what we're willing to give up. 12-play drive that took a decent amount of time. ECU gets the ball back. They give it to Rajay Harris, and Rajay's going to pick up seven on his first touch. As we said last week, the types of plays that I like when you're trying to run the ball is to really, you know, pick up seven or eight on the first down, even that, because then you have an extra 40 seconds to, to let the clock go. And we're going to start the fourth quarter with the third and one. Pirates going empty to start the fourth quarter. This could prove to be a bad decision, but we're going to trust. We're going to trust Jake Garcia to make the right decision. Jake, oh, he can't get away, and we're going to have to punt the football. Jake wanted to sprint out of there, pick up the pick up the first down with his legs, and now we're in a tricky situation. Can the defense withstand? We're still up 11. Same thought process as last time. We're, we're, we're fine if you dink and dunk, but we're not going to give up. We're not going to get beat deep, and that's the big thing. There's a there's a 12-yard gain to start the drive. Randy Jefferson may have gotten a little too 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 greedy there for a second. We'll see how this, this game pans out. Remember, we had a timely turnover last week. Freshman Ashton Duncanson had a pick six for the to seal the win against Duke. Nine minutes left in the fourth. Ashton had it around three or four minutes left, so we're not quite there yet. But this is uh, this is a big. This here we go, oh, man. Missed, missed. We're right there. We're right there. We're right there. Timely sacks, baby. First one of the day could not have came at a better time. They have to no huddle. That's going to take at least seven or eight seconds to get back. We're still protecting deep. Third and twelve. Biggest play of the game for Old Dominion, and they even have an X Factor quarterback or, or whatever that, that that the star is. We're still. We're there. We're there. We're there. We're right there. It's fine. Throw away. It's fine. Good play, fellas. Potential punt inside the 10. We are going to return this. We are going to take this back, and we have some room. And we have a lot of room. We're outside the 40. Punter's going to shove us out of bounds, and we're, we're going to have the ball right at the 50 to start. First play we're going to do, of course, hand off to Rajay Harris. Just Rajay, really good running back. Really good run by Rajay. Oh, he got trucked at the end, but a seven-yard gain. Second and three for the Pirates. Rajay Harris, big hole, big hole. Rajay, can he make a man miss? He can. Rajay, still go. Fumble! We still... And Old Dominion recovers with the ball in their 20. Excellent play by Old Dominion. I really thought our guy had recovered it. But here we go. Can we get a defensive stand? We're right there. We're right there. And th we got another fumble. When did we get it back? What a play. Oh, what a play. What a play. Timely, timely games, guys. The name of the game. Timely Timely plays is the name of the game, and, and and Randy Jefferson absolutely trusts his guys. He's going to hand the ball right back to Raji. Can Raji rebound? Raji's, Raji's going to get in, and that's a touchdown. Been trying to poke the ball out all game long, and it finally happened, and it could not have happened at a better time. It was a potential big momentum swing there for Old Dominion, but puts us up 18 with 7 to play. 200 yards plus rushing for the Pirates in this game. And Randy Jefferson is starting the air the exact way he wants to, which is by continuously running the football as there's a great DB. There's a great, sorry, a PBU by Siobhan Ravel. He is the best overall rated player on the team. He's an 88 overall corner. It's a good play right there. Third and four. The goal for the Pirates is to to pound the rock continuously. Raja Harris, Javius Bond have done a really phenomenal job of that. 
so far in their in their time with the Pirates this year? Do they get the first? Did he pick it up? He did. Okay. 22-yard gain has Old Dominion at the 46-yard line with six to play. Again, we're I mean that wasn't quite a dink and dunk, but we're gonna we're gonna allow them to pick up a lot of yards at this point. We just don't want to get beat deep for for a quick score like that. That should be a pick, and it is great play, my man Edwards. That is an interception, and that will all but seal it. Timely turnovers for the ECU Pirates today as they are up 18 points with less than six to play. Seven-yard run by Rajay Harris on first down has us at second and three, and Rajay is quietly over 120 yards on the day. He has two touchdowns. There goes Javius Bond, his backfield mate, for a first down. Javius Bond is at 79 yards, so we're going to keep him in for a couple plays. Hopefully he gets to the 100 mark. He's only 21 yards away. It would be pretty big to have two 100-yard rushers in week two. No surprise, the Pirates are running the football again. Second and six. There goes Javius for a gain of nine. Raja Harris back in the game, makes a man miss. Actually, just bowled him over, and there's a gain of three. Javius Bond in for a carry final play before the two-minute warning. Javius is going to get the first down and then some, and that should put him at over 100 yards on the day. 35-17, dominant win by the East Carolina Pirates today. They played relatively turnover-free. The big thing was is they, they didn't want to be in the red zone, commit turnovers, have, have a poorly timed interception. Raja Harris, as you can see, player of the game, 135 yards and two scores. Really all around great game for the Pirates. Uh, they ran for 272 yards, 40 carries as a team today. Only threw the ball 21 times, but but that's fine. Especially when, when you beat a team like this. Uh, they were they were up early and, and they did not let up, which was great to see. Uh, Raja Harris and Javius Bond, both 100 yards and a touchdown. Jake Garcia even got into the end zone today. All around great win for the Pirates. Now, I want to go through the upgrade, the coaching ability every time. For now, I'm, I'm only going to focus on recruiting. Uh, I'm not going to focus on strategist or, or any of that. Right now, we, we just want to acquire better players. Uh, right now, we really need defensive linemen, and, and I'll show you the roster in a second. So we are absolutely going to purchase. Uh, recruiting actions give a bonus to defensive linemen. Uh, we also need... It's never bad to have offensive line, but we also need DBs. Uh, but we also, we're going to need a quarterback because Jake Garcia, for, for, he played pretty, pretty mistake free, but he's not the type of player that I want to have moving forward. So we are going to uh, increase the, the, the hours that we have for quarterbacks. Now, I want to quickly show you guys the roster because the depth chart is pretty crazy at some positions. Uh, Jake Garcia, he's a junior. He, he will be back next year. I can't imagine he's going to transfer. Um, but Rajay is a senior. We have several running backs behind, but Javius Bond, Javius Bond and Marlon Gunn would be the guys next year, but Javius hopefully will be a thousand yard back this year. Um, we have Chase Sal really wanted to get him involved more. Just didn't because we, we ran the ball so well, but we have three receivers that are seniors. Uh, we have a, a, a tight end. That's a senior Casey Kelly. The offensive line is where we're really going to need work because we have a, a senior left tackle. We have a senior center. We have pretty sure we also have a senior right tackle. We always well, back up, but we have two positions that we're going to have to replace. Uh, but the defensive line I know is where it gets pretty, pretty bad. We have four defensive tackles that are going to be leaving next year. So we're going to recruit a lot of defensive tackles. So that was another reason for uh, to, to put, the, the second bonus towards towards the defensive lineman in terms of recruiting. Uh, Kevin Merrill has 93 speed. I, I am all for playing guys that have speed, and there's not too big of an overall difference between him and, and Zaki Barker. So I, I wanted to play Kevin at, at starting middle linebacker over him. Uh, I'm all about speed on the defense. Speed and height on the defense is what we're all about. Uh, corner, Siobhan Ravelli had that really big pass breakup today. We're okay in the secondary after him. Sharif Ellison, he's, I mean, he'll be gone after this year. But we're not at the worst position. Now, we do need to recruit corners because we only have five and two are leaving. So, we will need to recruit. But hopefully, we don't have to have a, a CB4 freshman play that much next year. Um, and then, I, just, I did want to quickly just go through the roster. So, as you guys can see, defensive line is going to be heavy. Uh, but for recruiting, 
We have, we're all in on several players right now. Uh, Reese Boozer, we are second. We are by far Bernard Arma's number one school. And he's visiting next week against App State, so that's going to be big. Uh, we are sending the house, so we really, we can't send anything else, but that that's big. Now, Derek Speed, again, we're, we're, I'm fine with going after recruiting busts, busts, if you will. And we're by far as number one. So I like where we are there. We're all about building the trenches. Uh, Kamani Wall, again, a gem, three-star gem. Uh, we are number one by quite a, quite a lot. Um, 72 speed, 83 strength along the defensive line. Those are really good ratings. Eric Elway, if you watched the first video, you saw how much I really like him. And him and Javius Bond would be an incredible, incredible duo if we could if we could bring him in. And I, I'd be even fine with playing him in year one. Uh, 79 carry, 90 speed, 83 juke. The 90 agility is pretty big. He'd be a fun player to have. Uh, Joel Egbuel, again, another back. Thing is, we're all about recruiting backs because we need... We need backs, especially with how much we intend to run the ball moving forward. So those those are the main players right now. Uh, we only have 400 recruiting hours, which kind of stinks. But we're going to slowly build the board out and slowly, slowly get more players that are ready to be ECU Pirates next year. But that is going to wrap up episode two. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, guys, like I said, we are really, really trying to build this. So I am humbly asking please like please comment help with the almighty youtube algorithm i cannot emphasize how much i really want to just continue to build this so please like please comment if you're not subscribed please subscribe and that's going to wrap up episode two so until next time please be safe and have a great day love you guys